watching the paid media from what they are shown through with comes to social media. Yeah, I, I listen to them and I, I hear on both sides of the aisle, I hear on multiple sides of the social media aisle where it comes to a lot of varying groups, left, right, and all the subsidiaries there are. I I, I hear these questions. What are Trump's latest poll numbers? What is Trump's rating among what demographic group or whatnot? These are the questions that I hear constantly. You think about it. Don't you hear them too? What's his favorite? What's what's his what's his favorite ability in such and such and such? Well, what's it here or there? Is it high? Is it low? So, when Donald Trump he becomes president and he's also learned these, you know, concepts. He's also, you know, reality TV stars, what he wants to be. But when he becomes president, that's what he talked about. And actually, he did, he did it before he became president. He was doing it on the campaign trail, but you know, talking about how much they love him, they like him, the people, you know, galvanize around him. Uh, his numbers are so much higher than Hillary's. His numbers are so much higher than anybody else's. He has the best numbers. He has the best ratings. Uh, he talked about he's good. You know, he he and others talk about how he's so good for TV. He's so good for this and that. That's, you know, yeah. That that's what uh, is going on. And so now he's you know, POTUS, president of the United States. He is still talking about that. You know. Especially with tr Twitter, you know, it's popular. They love me. That's what they do. That's what tr Trump does. That's what we do. So what Donald Trump is actually doing is just reflecting everything that we have espoused. He cares about his poll numbers. He cares about his ratings. How are we doing this week on this rating? How are we doing this week on this poll number? How are we doing this week? And yes, he only wants to hear the good things. Just like us. Just like we do, we just want to hear the good things. Oh, yeah. Is Trump a vehement racist? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there are people out there, racism. There's, there are, I mean, these white Christians who are going out and committing mass murder in the name of God, but they're not terrorists. When you have Christians out there who are, and these are uh, uh, leaders, they're, they are pastors, priests, and whatnot, and they're, you know, molesting people. Yeah, kids are people too. Keep that in mind. Kids are people too. So I grouped that in because they, they could range from five years old to, to 10 to 15 and some even higher in their 20s. Donald Trump is a reflection on everything. We all want to hear just the good things. We want to hear a nice Christmas song. We want to hear a happy joy song. Feel good for that moment and think the world is going to be okay when that's further from the reality. You, you, that's just not realistic. And that's what we do, just like Trump. Trump knows all this bullshit is going on. He knows what's happening. He does. But he doesn't want to care because he was taught to not care. As he said, doing business is easy. Because you don't need the heart. But when you have to use the heart, in other words, when you have to feel and think about things ahead of time and care about people under you that are trying to live and survive in this world, then it's hard to do. So if you give a damn, it's hard to do what you want to do. But if you don't give a damn, you can just get it done. That's what we are. I like the fact that Trump is in office for these for, for these things. I, I can do this all day with Trump. I can use him to reflect on our modern society. I can do it all day. But I'm going to focus on these two things. Good ratings. That's what he wants. That's how we want to feel good about ourselves. That we're doing the right thing all the time with no problem. And we're going to be supported. And and, and if, you don't, if you don't support us, then you will be chastised. You'll be ridiculed. You'll be outcasted by us. Because that's what happens with our mindset. That's mob mentality. And hell, that's a lot of just personal lives too. If you don't agree with me, then you will be killed by me. Whether it's emotional or physical. And we need 
to change ourselves because we need better. We can't get better anything if we can't get better within ourselves. So I hope that with this, you can take something forward and just look yourself in the mirror. Think about who you are, what you are. Remove political agendas and belief systems. Remove religious agendas and belief systems. Remove your social beliefs and agendas. Remove all three of those. Look in the mirror and think, who in the hell am I as an individual? Just think. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.